115 to 83 on the road. Celtics got Al Horford back after COVID protocol. He got inserted back into the starting lineup. Remember, Jalen Brown had 46 in the opening night loss at Madison Square Garden. Jalen Brown just 3 of 13 tonight, 9 points. Jason Tatum had 18 points. Marcus Smart didn't score at all. 32-point mm. loss. The largest home loss for the Boston Celtics since you were still in the league, 2003. This is my Friday pose. Why, why are you jumping around like that? Man? Like, that was a long time ago. Hey, hey, it's not that was a long time. It wasn't that long ago. No, it really was. It was like 18 years ago. Chill out, Greg. <laughs> before, before we dive into uh, panic in Boston right now as they fall to 0-2, let's, uh, let's acknowledge Scotty Barnes here. who oh. we, we sat on, on the set draft night, and we're stunned when the, when the Raptors called Scotty Barnes' name with the fourth pick when the whole world thought they were going Jalen Sucks. Sucks, yeah. And Scotty Barnes is one of those guys that offensively in college, he, did, he wasn't called upon to do but so much. Even in high school, his high school team was absolutely loaded. Yeah. And then in college, they, they play, uh, Leonard Hamilton's system at FSU, they play in platoons. This was a guy who only averaged 20, about 12 points per game, so he wasn't called upon to score, so there were some questions about his offensive ability. And it's early in the game, and I know he had a good game tonight. We're not going to say that he's going to be able to do that on a nightly basis, but the early returns on Scotty Barnes look very, very good. And what I saw in those highlights, I saw a lot of want-to and hustle plays, going to the basket, missing a shot, going back up, getting a dunk, bringing the energy. Scotty Barnes brings the energy to any team that he's on, and that's why the Toronto Raptors drafted him over a player like Suggs. Oh, it's not even close. Listen, I, I think he's got a chance to be – a star and he's going to be a different star. He's not going to be a guy that you're going to just say, go get me 30. But the beauty of his game is he's one of those guys. He puts rhythm in the game because he gets his points off of what Brendan just talked about. Offensive rebound, running the floor, just being in the right spot at the right time, knowing how to space it. If you notice, everything he does is with force and with pace. It's nothing slow. It's nothing methodical. It's nothing that le that has to go against a loaded defense. Like he's got a great feel for how to play the game. He's got an incredible positional size, so that guy can play three. He can play any spot on the front line, well, yeah, comfortably. And he's only going to get better in terms of shooting the basketball. Like he just knows how to play. You took the words out of my mouth. I think he epitomizes positionless basketball. Yeah. Right. And and you think of of what Nick Nurse is thrown out there as you look at, at these numbers from from Scotty Barnes tonight the first Raptor rookie to record a 25 and 10 rebound game since Charlie Villanueva back in 2006 I mean you think about the size and length and versatility of this lineup once they get healthy with Siakam back Siakam Barnes Ananobi Fred Van Fleet Precious Achua tonight had 15 and 15 yeah. right so a solid lineup for them